Uh, we'll just finish it off with a few minutes looking at the Raptors uh, free agency here. So we got the uh, money, you got Lakers and what? Uh, I, I say Lakers in five. I'd probably have to go with five yeah. if they get one. Goes without saying. And then Lakers, for me, I have Lakers in Miami, and I would want to say Miami ends up winning in, in, in seven. But uh, <laughs> I'm like sending that into the universe right now. Like, Miami Heat in seven in the finals. But like I said before, we did the show side. I said, like, I didn't like the Clippers. I thought that the chemistry was going to bite them in the ass. I thought the only team that could beat the Lakers back then was going to be the Clippers. And now the Clippers are not in their path. Like, if, if I was betting money, I'd definitely, like, if I could bet my own money and I wanted to win, I would have to bet the Lakers. But I did I did say that when we did that episode outside. I said, if I had to bet, I'm taking the Lakers. And, and you were the one that was we, saying Clippers most of the time. We, well, yeah, because again, I got to. And that's, that's your guy. But again, and, and just to put it, if the Lakers do win the championship, because of all the razzing that happened throughout the, the, the whole year, we need the, uh, I want to see the correspondent here, because he's got to face what them you, out of the heat. For sure, and the championship's a championship, but before they went in there, you think that, you know, the bubble, and like you said, you think that if this is real NBA, nothing happens pre-COVID, okay. the Clippers have, you know, home court, whatever it is, each team has their thing, there's no way they're going out like that, right? I mean, based on... I don't think so. Well, again, the matchups were pretty much what they, what they were. And I, again, I don't. Do I think that you know guys the, not wanting guys to not wanting to be the, the bubble that, right? and you know try to guys try to sneak. In the, and again, I mean, there, there was always these like the Rocket series. Like Daniel House didn't play. Like That's Daniel, what I mean. Like yeah. Daniel House was gonna be you know the, the be all and end all for the Rockets. I didn't believe that. We're not like. Um, no, I mean, yeah, I think the, the, the dynamics would, would they have lost in, in seven games? Probably not with with home court in game seven. Probably. I think it's a lock that at least both get to the West again, final. It's also, right? you can also say that this is probably one of the hardest situations to be in as a baller, and winning the championship might give you might give you more of a situation. Not because here's the thing. All, so here's, here's, here's the thing. So if you let's say the Lakers do make the championship with the Heat, and there was an actual home court situation. You, you wouldn't say that the Heat would, would beat the Lakers in, 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 in LA. No, but in game I, seven. the Heat probably wouldn't get where they are right now, right? Like, I don't know. Like, this is more of a. Sh- like, you're in it, right? Like, the Raptors, for example, how many teams after the shooting that happened? I don't remember the man's name that passed away, but after that last black man that was shot, how many teams were willing to throw away the season, including the Lakers, the Clippers, and the, and the Raptors? Mm-hmm. Guys saying, hey, you know what? We think that we're not going to play. We might cancel the season. Yeah, like guys' heads have not been in this, and I don't think that's a stretch to say. Like a lot that's of guys fair. don't want to be there. That's a fair. The race statement. thing that's going on, the bubble, all kinds of stuff. It's not. Uh, you can't look at it and say, "Oh, hey, like." And regardless, if Miami wins or if the Lakers win or the Raptors win, well, nobody would look at this. No, I'm just saying before oh, yeah, when yeah. they were around. So nobody would look at this and be like, "Oh, hey, that's an accomplishment." That's building the story for the news. I think that if there was ever an underdog to win, this would be the circumstances. And if Miami wins, I don't think anybody would look at it and be like, Miami in a pre-COVID world was going to win a championship because how many so, seeds... So, so, you, so you believe whoever wins the championship will have like an asterisk? Well, there won't be an asterisk, asterisk. but like you can't look... Like everyone will always be remembered as the bubble finals. Fair enough. Whatever you want to associate that with. Fair enough. Moving on because we're right out of time. Nice. Raptors, uh, Raptors offseason looking like this. So uh, Van Vliet, unrestricted free agent. Marcus Solon, unrestricted free agent, 25 million. Fred was making nine. And Serge Ibaka, 23 million expiring. Um, also, like we talked about, guys, uh, uh, and then Rondé and Boucher, your buddy. But um, how many guys are you bringing? <laughs> how many guys are you bringing back? We don't need to go into really who's available. We know that Montrez is, is available. And whether he's a fit or not, we can talk about it. Follow the Raptors on Instagram. <laughs> what are you willing, what would you be willing to give Fred? Because we think that Fred's obviously the best out of the three guys. See, here's the, here's the thing, and like based off of those salaries, do you, do I think that Fred should get like some of that surge money that surge got? One hundred percent. I think that I think that's absolutely fair. Now, are you, if if the supposedly the Knicks are throwing trying to think about throwing out a max deal at Fred, did I see enough in the playoffs to to really state that that Fred would be worth a max contract? Probably one hundred percent no. Probably but there's not. very few guys. Yeah. The issue that the Raptors have is simply this: you got an aging Kyle Lowry who's like thirty five years old, yeah. and he's a free agent next year. You also don't want to put yourself into a situation where you have little to no cap for or for a significant free agent market next year. So you have the situation here, and this is where we were always going to go with this with Kawhi the one year. And so on. this team it was always going to oh, be. Oh, she's another free agent, by the way. Restricted. Restricted. Yeah, restricted. Yeah. And he'll, he'll, he'll get paid. Uh, I don't know how much he'll get paid, but he'll get paid for sure. Um, but again, if if Fred, if, if you can get Fred for. 20, 20? 22, like I would probably be able to Four years, that. like four years, anything, 80 million? Anything crazy, like into the 30 million, I definitely wouldn't do any of that, like yeah. the way that Kyle was getting paid. I just, I just didn't see enough. There were, and, and going on to the other guys, Mark, I would not bring Mark back at all. I am, I yeah. want to love the guy. One million. Great, great, yeah, no. great year situation. But here's the thing, it's, it's one of, if, it's, if it's one of those veteran minimum deals, then I would consider it because yeah. he can still, 
but like he's he's done for. Like I, and a lot of guys were like, oh, you know, he's doing this to Tatum. He should be like I had a lot of discussions with former former sports net guys, and I'm like, you can just, you can just see the eye test. He, he just wasn't good out there. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't rebounding. Moving, he, he wasn't, wasn't moving, moving before just, last year. He just wasn't good. And yeah, if he wants to sign a, a, vet, a veteran minimum deal, sure, I, I bring him back. You're the last guy in the bench. I would, whatever, again, sure I would. I think a surge deserves a contract. I would. I, I heard something about uh, you 30, team and thirty mil, but like thirty mil, I would three honestly, years, it's probably like, years. I mean, even if it's two years at thirty, I think I'd be okay with fifteen million a year. Yeah. But again, it's at his advanced age as well. But if it's anything to do with getting the same money that he's gotten right now, I would probably yeah. say no. Nobody's giving. And that's, that's the situation. They're gonna like. Do I, do I spend like if, if the Harold thing is as accurate as because I think it's very weird for a guy to go follow a team on social media I didn't just, know that. just yeah. randomly. Yeah. So he he fought again. He, I think the Raptors are the only team that he follows on social media, which is very strange. Um, Maybe like the Toronto I, I like I like he might like the Toronto ladies. I like the Toronto ladies. <laughs> I, like the Toronto ladies. <laughs> I, I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> That's probably gonna be the shit. That's why I'm gonna be the Um. He's the type of guy, and I had this argument of being like a lot of guys don't, don't think he's a good defensive player. He is. He takes as many charges as, as Kyle does. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a good player. I like I like those type of guys. He's, he's a dog. Yeah. He's he's a guy. JYD is he's skilled, a, yeah, more skilled. Just, JYD. More skilled JYD. JYD. And if they sign him for for the amount of money, fifteen that, a year or something 15, like that, twenty a year, I'll be I'll be absolutely fine. For a shorter term deal. For a shorter term deal, I'd absolutely be fine. You with can't that. bring back Ibaka and him. I don't think. If Ibaka leaves, maybe that opens the door to Harold. Yeah, I and mean, that's that's the situation. And run that pick and roll maybe with Fred or someone like that. And, right? and to me, I, th- I think the the situation is that yeah, this Raptors team is gonna. I think that next year will be Kyle's last year, because I, unless he's again around to be a bench player yeah, yeah. or anything along that nature, um, then and they're gonna have to retool this team, and it's gonna be based off of OG and Siakam. Possibly. And Giannis, yeah, that's the pipe dream. I mean, let's let's be real here. Like to me, the Gian- Giannis' situation is one where I can see him moving to Miami. I think I think that I think his, I think his reps will want him in a in a, in a big market. American market. I don't. I actually don't see him staying in Milwaukee because the fact of the matter is, it's just I can see him signing a super max and then maybe after two years forcing his way out. That wouldn't surprise me. Either. Nobody nobody wants to stay in Milwaukee. But let's be honest here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not a it's not a great market to be in for for basketball. Like to me, he's if they don't do. I thought, I thought Bud got out coached. Uh, I mean, what they can't do, yeah, they, 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 they made some bad, and they were like, oh, we're going to up the roster. I don't know how much you can do. Bledsoe, the, the side, the, the worst thing they did was keeping Bledsoe over Malcolm Brogdon. 100%. That I talked about huge. that last year. Yeah. That was huge because Brogdon was the better fit, and, and Bledsoe just, for what he gets paid, he doesn't bring He doesn't bring, bring, shoot, he he doesn't doesn't bring, bring it in the playoffs. He's a great defender, but yeah, they really miss Brogdon. And out there like, can you, can you sure. win something with Chris Middleton as, as, your second, as your second player? I think in, the, in, this, in this NBA, that, that's tough. Right? Yeah. You need you need like yeah the Raptors were able to do it last year but let's be real the Raptors also got fortunate with a lot of injuries and and, and so forth as well a yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a superstar driven league so I would bring back Fred as long like I don't know and this is what I was trying to think I don't know if Fred would want to like leave Toronto in a winning market and somewhere that a team that believed in him because he talked to him, he's a loyal uh-huh. guy I just don't know if he would leave Toronto go to a team like the Knicks the Kings um, maybe Houston depending on their cap situation and any team. For like a few extra million dollars a year, he could. I just yeah. don't know. That's the question. It's like, can I, I see him kids. leaving for New York? I don't know. Like for an, like I, if, I, if it's one hundred five compared to like ninety eight million dollars, he gonna leave Toronto to go play for the Knicks who have not done I, anything or are not gonna do anything? I, I don't think so. I think I agree with you that uh, Fred's a loyal guy, and I think he again he I think he owes it to the Raptors a little bit, but you just never know, guys. Of course, there, but you never know. Um, OG and and I looked at him too. Yeah, like I never know. I I love OG. I just don't know what his what his ceiling is. I know that he's obviously a really good defender mm-hmm. and offensively, I don't know what he can come to, but I like what, if he can give them 14, 15 points a game and play that defense, because like I said, when we were doing the shows during the playoffs, I think he's been their best. He was their most consistent player from game one to game seven against the Celtics. I agree. And that has, like, you know that he's not going to disappear. I like Norm a lot too. Obviously, I think he has one more year left on his deal. Mm-hmm. I want Serge back. If he wants to take a discount, he has to take a discount to stay. I'm bringing him back. Mark, obviously, I agree with that. Five hundred grand, a million dollars. Cool. If not, see you later. That's rough. That's rough. I don't want to put on a timer, but uh, we, we do need to uh, talk about Masai. I didn't watch the whole oh, closing yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. I had talked about this before with you um, and Zane behind the camera, just having our conversations. I'm not so sure Masai wants to stay. Not that he doesn't love Toronto. I just think that he might be willing to cash in and, and rebuild and do a city like New York. Um, to be honest, maybe just New York, thinking of other teams that are like 
all the elite franchises in the NBA for the most part have returned to winning. Boston, Lakers, um, minus New York. I don't know what other teams are like. Powerhouses. Mm -hmm. um, Houston's become a better team. They had some championships. The Bulls, I can't see him leaving for the Bulls. I think that if Masai leaves, judging by his body language, and you know he had already did what he came here to do, I can honestly see him leaving to go to New York. I know that New York had just signed someone recently, but whether it's a position above that to get paid and have some ownership, Washington threw that at him a few years ago, remember? See, I, I will, I'll, I'll agree that I think Masai knows that he's won the championship and, and, he's, and he's flat. He's flat his work is done. He did a, good, a great job with Denver before, before he came yep. over here. I don't think he would go to the Knicks, though. And I think that's just simply on the, on the factor of nobody wants to really work for James Dolan that that's really established. Because Especially he, he knows for the his. culture. Yeah. He knows the culture. It would it, it, be a huge waste for him. I can see him going and taking over a, a big market team somewhere in the, in the U.S., whether it be uh, whether it be if the Clippers fail and they, they and Ballmer brings them back with some with some huge money, he's got a relationship with Kawhi. I can say I, can like see I was thinking of Dallas, things. maybe like Dallas is a big market. Houston, like I don't know, maybe Houston if they get rid of Maury, they bring him in to be everything there, right? Like obviously, but here's the thing, but like they, they but who would want to really inherit that huge situation the way that it is? You you can't like the West. But no situation. He's not going to go somewhere. Where he's going to go to the Lakers and just say okay, like everything's here, right? I think I think he I think for example, if the Clippers fail that next year, that that would be exactly what would happen. I could see him going into that situation, knowing he's got some center, some some good centerpiece pieces, and just fixing that team in his way because he's already got an established star. And again, Bomber would offer him. I mean, let's, 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 let's get real. Let's get real. Like the, one of the guys that again it gets thrown under the radar. One of the guys that has a lot of egg on his face from all the celebrations that he had. Was with Steve Ballmer. Again, looks like a cool guy. Like he joke, jokes around. He's one of those. He wants around. to win. I don't know. He wants to win. But he's acting like a goofball. And let's be real. But he's been like that. We got. We, he's been we there. gotta. We gotta go through it. Our social media when the Clippers lost. Any everybody in Toronto was laughing their heads off because again we yeah, and I laughed a little bit too because at the end of the day, yeah. it, as did much Kawhi as, make the right decision? Oh well, of course you did. But that was the right thought, decision. right? Yeah. But it, it's like it's a lot of people felt like. Like Kawhi, like 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 sounded like he was a breakup. That Kawhi broke up with the Raptors, yeah. and, a lot and he of thought people, the grass was greener oh, on the other side. We have guys that we are mutual friends. I saw guys writing obituaries. It was all over oh, the map. Oh, obituaries. For there was one guy. There was one guy that we know that was literally like threw up about three Instagram stories about when um, the Clippers lost. When the Clippers lost. That was just, that was just all over the map about how Kawhi was a, was an ingrate, and this this is what he gets. And they're just throwing him on, on oh the grave, and, and you could tell it was jaded Raptors fans, which which I, I completely understand. But um, I go back to my point. It was yeah, I, I can see that Masai is likely not going to come back. Which again, the nine one is a championship. He he follows the, the the money trail. It is a little bit weird that they would not have up re upped them already. Well, he's which they, is he's, weird, which they've is offered weird. obviously right. And he again, he wants to see what the philosophy is, and then I, I can get me that he probably will leave. Which again, uh, obviously he'll be a loss, no no doubt, but. And won us a championship, and just like Kawhi, you, you wish him the best, and yeah. uh, and you know he's been here for what? Uh, I want to say like eight. Years. No, I want to say like he's been here a long time. Years. Well, you got to think how many years. Definitely. And that, that, that's the next series. I think was the first. That must one. have been like six years ago, at yeah, least. Some, something like yeah. that. So I mean, the man paid his dues. He won. He won them the championship, and and if he wants to pursue a different challenge, so be it. Yeah. Now, obviously, if he. Next year, if he's still here and he persuades Giannis to come over to the Raptors, which does is that the change thing, his mind? Then obviously it right? does. Because does he, or does he say, "Hey, my work here is done. Oh, I'm sending no, you guys no, up here." No, well, he's here for another he's ring because he's literally, he's literally here. He set up the whole team. Why would you leave that yeah. situation knowing that they can be? Maybe that's what he's waiting on to see how free agency plays out next summer, not this, not this off season, uh, but the next uh, one, right? Again, that could be a thing as well. Going to that next one, like in your opinion, you take away a lot of these guys. Mark is gone. Serge and Obama and Kyle's probably not. Yeah, I have a first round draft pick this year too. Do you? Does that team? Is that enough? For Giannis to come contemplate, is it enough that him and Siakam will probably be the centerpieces along with OG? Who, who I also also think will take another step next year and become an, an even better player. He shows up glimpses offensively. OG. He's going to not he's maybe trying to go He's trending upwards. No, he's, trending upwards. He's, he's, he's trending to a player. I have more faith in him for sure. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, at least you know with OG. Sorry again, Pascal. But like you know that OG is going to bring it defensively, and you know that he's going to take his shots for three, and they're going to go in. Like he's 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 at least an, his, he's at least an average three point shooter, and he showed that in the playoffs and, as well. And, and is Giannis a nurse player? That's another thing. Like his lack of, again. He, I think like, man, he, after you lose so many times, I feel like you have to say, you know what? I'm open to listening. But again, he's a guy that has his deficiencies. Yeah, as does everybody else. Well, I mean, but they're they're strong. Harden, 
like everybody well, well, can do that. I mean, well, like everybody has deficiencies, but, but I mean, it's not one of those situations that we and we see with Ben Simmons that he really he really can't shoot that well. The three, it's a three a three point driven league. Giannis is, is a guy that if they pack up pack the the middle into him. We've seen it. that if you pack the middle on Giannis, he's going to try to barge through. So yeah. sometimes sometimes it'll work. If you make him settle for for a, for a three pointer, his percentages aren't great. Yeah. And you make him you make him shoot that all the time. He's got to get better. Well, he's going to work on the three as well, yeah. right? You got to think with. Back, yeah, back, I agree. Yeah. I, I agree with you that I, I'm likely to come back. I'm likely to come back. All right, guys. Uh, great episode. We're going to talk with you guys uh, probably towards the end of this round. Definitely going to preview the finals. Um, enjoy the rest of the series, and uh, we'll check out with you guys next time. Igor, Joe, we'll see you later. I'll wait. I'll wait. Fifteen minutes.